So I was penciling the piece that I've been working on. Then I realized I still have leftover paper from the last time I was practicing a sample. So I tried to pull off because I still had it taped. I didn't rip the paper now. I could still use what's around it. And that fits perfectly. I already laid the stencil. I'm just going over it again to make the lines darker. I'm really nervous, not gonna lie. Only because of the placement. Like, I want it to go here. And that's gonna be hard because I can't pull my skin. If you know what that means. So given the placement of this tattoo, I knew it would be a little more difficult as I mentioned previously. So I had the idea to stencil it and go over it with a lip liner. Uh, and I did that and it was too far over, too much into my inner arm. And I didn't like that. So I'm glad I practiced it because I was able to clean this off. And then I moved the stencil over as you can see, but it's too close to my tree. Tattoo is too high up and I didn't like that placement. So the next day, well, I was able to wash this off real good. And then the next night, I redid the stencil. Mind you, I never redrew the stencil. This is the same stencil. Uh, shout out to Quality Materials. This is the same stencil. And I was able to replace it on my body. And I loved it. So here's a time lapse of me cleaning and setting everything up. And then you'll hear a natural sound of my tattooing process. I love how this is coming out. That is the face of satisfaction. And as I mentioned before, because of the placement, I couldn't pull my skin properly. So I played around with voltage and needles. Um, I find that the nine round shader worked for me perfect through this entire piece. The five round liner did not work for me to try to do my outline. Smaller needles are harder to control. And the seven mag just wasn't working for me um to color pack the symbol in the center also i pretty much had this on like nine voltage the entire time so let's go back to the beginning real quick because this whole tattoo process started out with a quote that i've known i wanted to tattoo for a long time it's one of my favorite quotes from their eyes were watching god by zora neale hurston it says there is a basin in the mind where words float around on thought and thought on sound and sight. Then there is a depth of thought untouched by words, and deeper still, a gulf of formless feelings untouched by thought. So I was telling my friend about it, and they suggested I do something with a silhouette, and then that took me down a whole nother path of like curiosity and brainstorming, and it really ignited something in me that was really fun, and so I just did the first sketch of a silhouette I could think of and I tried to incorporate the quote in it but I didn't feel moved by it uh so I just kept tweaking the silhouette and then I love adding symbols to things I love creating custom pieces and for this silhouette I just gravitated towards the adinkra symbols immediately uh and there's this one in particular that I like a lot called the wisdom knot and it felt connected with this quote. But as I kept brainstorming and sketching, I stopped. Like, it it mattered less to me that I was creating something to go with this quote. I just was happy to be inspired to create a custom piece in whatever way it turned out. So essentially, I kept playing around with different patterns inside the silhouette. And when I did this one, I was like, this the one. This is the one. 